students. They were nice enough to uh, come out to Lake Stevens on a Saturday at 2 p.m. to help us get ready to win this season. Okay? They're going to explain some rules to you, make sure we're doing things the right way. Okay? Make sure you give them their undivided attention. If you have a question, just raise your hand. I'm sure they'll be happy to answer for you. Okay? I think, Scott, are you going to be the one coming out? This is Scott Patterson, great guy. Okay, I'm sure you're going to see him on Friday nights. Go ahead, Coach. this great sport. Think about it. Without your coaches, your trainers, your equipment guys, whoever brings you the water, you wouldn't be playing football. So take the time to thank them. I thank them right now. Coach and staff, thank you. Um, a couple things, and I'm going to get a little interactive. We'll, we'll have some fun with this. Um, you may not know this, but you, you probably would think it after I say it. We don't care who wins and loses your games. We really don't care. I was on the field last week doing some little guys, because we go out and do Little League too. You guys probably remember us. I see a hold out on the edge. The play is going the other way. I'm not going to flag it. The coach comes in and you missed the hold. You missed the hold. You let it go, right? It didn't affect the play. And then he says, you must be from Lake Stevens. OK? We don't care who wins or loses. We're here to help you guys have a good, safe Friday night, Monday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, whatever it is. So with that, we're going to do a little game now. Anybody just go ahead and chirp it out if you think you got the answer. Greatest player in NBA history. Michael Jordan. We can all argue, but Michael Jordan seems to be the consensus. 49.7% 40, from the field. Less than 50% of the time, he got it right. How about current players? Kobe, LeBron? Kobe, 45.4% of the time. Less than half the time, he does his job the way he's supposed to. I'm not going to let you answer this one, so I'm going to tell you the greatest quarterback ever can go on down. 63.2%. How about current quarterbacks? Tom Brady, Tom Brady, 63.7. Okay, I'll get you with this one. Greatest kicker percentage. Now, a guy by the name of Dan Bailey, coached the kick a couple years from Cowboys, 89.7%. Pretty good for a kicker. Dan, you, where's Dan? Stay out of this one. Last baseball player to hit 400. Ted Williams. 1941, before World War II started. In a sport, baseball, where if you hit 300 or 30% of the time, you're going to the Hall of Fame if you do it for your career, right? 30%, I go to the Hall of Fame. How about this number? NFL officials get their calls right 97.6% of the time. Right. On a Friday night, how many plays do you try to run on offense? 50 or 60 is probably a good night? We go fast break, no huddle. We're hoping for seven. Okay, 70. Your percentage just went down. How many times do you score? Less than seven. So you're scoring less than 10% of the time. Aren't all offensive plays designed to score a touchdown? I think they are. So you guys are right around 8%. Why is it okay when a back fumbles, quarterback throws an interception, or a linebacker misses a tackle? Why is it okay when a coach makes the wrong play, calls the wrong play, and that's part of the game? It's part of the game, right? But when an official misses a call, it's, it's a crime. When an official misses a block in the back, official misses a hold, it costs you the game. One call, when you're only doing it right 8% of the time. But it's our fault. 
for at least nine or ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer official Richard Portel Portelio warns a guy with the yellow card. He's dead. Kid punched him in the head. He died within a week. Blunt force trauma to his head. This just happened in Salt Lake City. How about Rochester, New York? Football teams are leaving the field, shaking hands, good game. And somebody yells at the veteran official on the field, Pete McCabe. Hey, Pete. He turns around to have a helmet smashed into his face. Breaks every bone in his base, fractures his skull in seven places. His nose is down underneath his eye. The player stands over the top of this official and says to him, take that. Take that. That's what I'm all about. He's alive. He's a mess, but he's alive. Several Dutch teens, kids, kids your age, young men, are waiting trial right now for the murder of a volunteer line judge for a Little League soccer game. The lines guy, the guy on the sides. They killed him because he, they didn't like his call. Brazil last month in a third division, third division match, I don't even know what that means, soccer match. A referee's kicked in the chest. Kenya, there's a, currently a lawsuit filed against their federation for soccer. At the end of the game, the coach went up to the referee, sorry ladies, grabbed his testicles, crushed him. He's, he's impotent. Got you on the page here. I haven't memorized all of this. Last year, New Zealand. A player's banned for punching a referee and breaking his jaw. This year, I myself will spend about 500 hours in football. On the field, in training, doing little league scrimmages, doing scrimmages like this one, working with coaches, talking with Rich Bardu on the phone about three times a day, uh, in meetings with coaches, or just giving back to my community. How much do you think I make for this? Anyone want to guess? About five bucks an hour. I'm just one. There are officials that do less, but I'm going to tell you, there are a lot of officials that do a lot more than I A lot more than I So they're down around the $2 an hour range. So let me ask you this, why do we do it? We do it for you. We do it so you can play the game. We do it for the love of the game. Points of emphasis for 2013. It's all about the helmet. It's going to be about the helmet for the rest of your careers. If you use the helmet as a weapon, you're going to get flagged. Okay? Helmets don't prevent concussions. Keeping your head up will prevent a concussion. Help prevent a concussion. So it's to the point now, gentlemen, where receivers running downfield, drop the helmet, hit that corner. He's going to get it. Don't use your helmets as a weapon. It's going to hurt you more than it hurts them. Okay? Rule changes for 2013. The helmet off rule. Last year, if your helmet came off, you sat a point, right? Yeah. Same rule applies. However, they've added to it. If your helmet comes off and you're on defense or you're on offense, it doesn't matter, you're on the field, you cease playing football. If your helmet pops off, you just got to stand there and let the play go. If you participate without your helmet on, it's going to be one of these. That's illegal participation, 15 yards. Okay? Now, on the flip side of that, your helmet comes off and you stand up and do the right thing and quit playing football and somebody hits you, we got personal foul going the other way. Number seven. You'll still come out for a play. Okay? But again, let me reiterate that. Unless it was pulled off. Unless it was pulled off. Correct. If it was pulled off, you're not coming out. You probably got 10, 15 yards for personal foul for ripping your helmet off, right? Your face mask. Okay? Pass interference. They changed pass interference this year. Pass interference on defense, 15 yards. Not an automatic first down, right? Yeah. Replay the down. Odds are it's a first down. 15 yards, odds are it's a first down. Now, on offense, it used to be it was a double whammy. 
pass interference, offensive pass interference, there's also a loss of down, right? It's gone. It's 15 yards for offensive pass interference. Uh, last year they added the completed pass, push out of bounds, you're on the sidelines, you catch the ball, you get shoved out of bounds, incomplete, correct? The one thing they didn't put in there is what if I catch you on, you know, the numbers and run you out of bounds. Well, they clarified that. That's a catch. We officiated that, that that way last year. If you would have come down inbounds, but somebody carried you out of bounds, that's a completed pass. That's the key word is carried. Carried Not is the push, important part. Carried. We have to determine that you were carried out or carried out of bounds. That is complete. If it's exactly. A push or a contact where you get hit, get air and fall back. Last year they implemented the pre blocking zone on a kickoff, right? Kicking team couldn't initiate contact until the ball had gone 10 yards. And that stayed the same. However, and again, we officiated because it made common sense to us. If you were if somebody initiated contact with you and you were the kicking team, then that rolls off. You could then have contact. Does that make sense? Uh, kick catch interference. We went back to the way it used to be way, way back when Tom first started coaching. And that is uh, kick catch interference. Back when the balls were pumped. What's that? Oh, back when they were stuffed, the balls. Yeah, and the leather helmets. Yes. Uh, so we've gone back to the way it used to be. It's 15 yards either from the end of the run or you can choose to re-kick after a 15-yard penalty. Towels, you guys use a lot of towels out here at Lake Stevens. We don't really care about towels except for the rule is they can have color this year, they don't have to be white, but everybody has to have the same color. Question? Any officials want to interject? Hey, miss anything? I'm sorry. You can't have yellow. How about Vegas gold? And you can't have brown. You couldn't have anything to make it look like a flag or make it look like a football. You can't have yellow or brown. All right. Camera fixed? Sure. All right. Let's get a drink of water and let's hit the field. Hey, this is one more thing, guys. This is important for us. It happens every year. Legal equipment. No Live Strongs, no Nike bicep bands. I know we all like to show off our big guns. Like 11. Uh, Except along your wrist. Yeah. Go ahead and show that 11. It's okay, it's practice. That's <laughs> oh, a great that's way. cute, isn't it? That's a, great, that's a great way for growing the right? Uh, play cards, you gotta be on your arm. No jewelry, all that good stuff. Lots of field three be safe. You know what happens if, if you ran out on the field number 11, I'm gonna pick on you. If you were out on the field with that on after the coach told me you were legally equipped, it's 15 yards on a coach track. And then that's 15 gassers for you. <laughs> after he yells at us. Mark, Mark. All right. Like we did it. Hey, let's go, guys. Three it up one more time. Right here on the center 50-yard line. 